Today in Inventor we will be creating this piston. First go to New File, create a standard part in millimeters, and click Create. Now create a new sketch on the XY plane. And the base of this model will be an 85-84 millimeter circle that gets extruded 50, mill 50 millimeters. Go to the origin along the YZ plane, create a sketch, hit F7. That way you can see what you're doing. And a circle. This 12 millimeters will be located twenty four millimeters from the origin. Three D model extrude. I mean three D model revolve around the Z axis and it will be a cut. Click OK. the fillet. Make that a 9mm fillet. Click OK. Now go to the YZ plane again. Create a new sketch. Hit F7. Use the two point rectangle to make a 25 tab, 25 square. Do the same thing on the other side. Go to 3 model, extrude, and it is going to be a cut through all both directions. Cut. Click OK. Now we're going to use the shell tool take away this face using a thickness of four millimeters click OK and now we need to create the hole here so create a new sketch onto this face create a circle that is 18 millimeters <coughs> that is 18 millimeters it will be constrained to the origin like that and dimension it 40 millimeters from the top. Go to the offset. Offset, offset this by five. Go to the line. Type 32. In this direction, 20 in this direction, 64, twenty, and go back to the side. Right click, OK. Go to the trim, trim here, 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 here. Okay, you don't need to trim those two. Now go to 3D model, extrude, distance all, it'll make it a cut. Click OK. And we need to add this little bit here. So go to this face, create sketch, project geometry, click on this curved edge here so that we have the center point. I'm going to create an 18 millimeter and a 28 millimeter circle. I click OK. 3D model, extrude, click that. Distance 2 will be to the other side. And it'll make it a cut, 
make it a join so that it adds material to it. Now take this extrusion, click on the feature, go to mirror, mirror plane, use the X Z plane. Click OK. And now it completes did it on the other side. I'm going to go to the filler tool again. Use all these edges here. You get the idea of what I'm trying to do. Click OK. Now it's almost it's getting there. Go to the XZ plane. New sketch. At seven. Circle. It is a 0.75 millimeter circle. And this circle is two millimeters from the origin, and it will be a revolve feature around the Z axis. Cut. Click OK. Now click this feature, and we want there to be 20 of them. So, so we're going to we're going to use the rectangular pattern. We already have the feature selected. Go to direction. Go to direction. Click the z-axis. Make this 1.5 millimeters, and we want 20. There you have it. Actually, it didn't mean 20. 15. That looks better. Go to the XZ plane again and you need to create the spot for the piston rings so create sketch F7 rectangle we went three millimeters in that direction point eight here and it will be 32 from the origin 3D model revolve around the z-axis again cut click OK and there will be three spots for the piston ring so click the feature go to rectangular direction z-axis three millimeters and we want three of them and we want three of them click OK and it's done Almost. I messed up on something. What did I do? Oh yeah. This needs to be collinear with this finish sketch. There we go. Now it is done. The piston is done. Thank you for watching and I'll do more engine videos in the future. Thank you for watching.